So today we discuss what is chalk plot. A chalk plot is used to determine the optical band gap or the chalk band of either disorder or amorphous semiconductor. Here you can see the graph that we draw to find out the optical band gap. Now here you can see the data given uh, first one is a wavelength second is absorbance and third one column is uh, conversion of uh, absorbance uh, wavelength into energy by using the uh, equation e is equal to hc or lambda by uh, taking 240 to uh, 1240 divided by absorbance you will get that value of energy this uh, two, uh, 140 value is uh, uh, discussed in uh, another video. Next, in next column, we are going to convert uh, the uh, absorbance and uh, energy uh, or absorbance co uh, coefficient A is multiplied uh, with the energy and here you can get the value of that now by taking in the next uh, uh, column uh, we are as we are, we are using for the direct or indirect transition uh, for direct uh, taking as a square so we are just uh, taking the square of the last column in order to convert for a direct optic in order to find a uh, direct transition of optical band gap now uh, we have all the values that are required to plot a graph uh, for uh, for in order to find the energy optical band gap no well first of all uh, we take uh, the energy at x-axis and copy the data of uh, the energy uh, from our excel sheet and uh, then put into the origin file now here I'm go, uh, I'm gonna copy the uh, uh, data of energy from Excel and then move towards and paste in the origin. Here I'm going to paste. Now similarly in the next column I am going to copy the last column of Excel AHV square and copy that. Uh, uh, column and then going to an origin file and put that data or paste that data in uh, in in the origin file now I'm going to plot that data uh, of uh, the energy versus AHV plotting we can get uh, such type of graph uh, to find out uh, the optical band cap here I'm uh, I'm gonna uh, find out that uh, how we can get the optical band gap of our characterized material. No, uh, I'm gonna uh, uh, convert that data here we are obtaining uh, there are two peaks or uh, two humps in that curve the first hump is very clear so we find the optical band gap from the first peak or first hump uh, between the two the two parameters uh, now i want to uh, adjust uh, uh, the scale uh, which are given at x-axis and y-axis uh, first of all I would like I would convert uh, that scale into 
no uh, first of all uh, no I, I'm gonna uh, taking the other lines and uh, convert into a fully crop now here you can see this is the conversion of the uh, that uh, uh, x-axis uh, and y-axis up in order to find the optical band gap uh, we have adjust their scale of x-axis value of energy value here now in our next step we are going to uh, draw the other lines axis uh, at uh, uh, negative y axis and negative x axis in order to fulfill the requirement of the graph now we put uh, the line at uh, the right side of that uh, graph after that uh, we put uh, a line at the top here you can see a line has been brought uh, for the uh, at the top of the graph similarly uh, one another line is missing from the uh, right side so I want to put uh, a line of the curve from the right side in order to get a good graph so after that uh, I'm going to adjust the ratio which which was uh, first taken as 1.5 I'm going to convert that uh, the width of the line into in the, into the value of 2 from the each side now I'm going to uh, draw a tangent uh, or a line which uh, uh, cut uh, the x axis of energy at some level which is actually the value of a uh, optical band gap the value of optical band gap uh, we find is a 1.95